Today, I am reacting to your guys' gaming setups. We've done this once before, but we're gonna do it again. As you can see, I'm in the middle of renovating my own setup, so it doesn't look all too great, and I'm gonna be a little bit critical, but the hope is, is that we'll be doing a full setup review once this new space is done. I got this space for three years. I know we've been switching setups a lot, but hopefully this will be the setup that lasts the longest. This is gonna be a fake wall with window light coming in. It's gonna be great. We'll do a whole setup review when that happens, but today, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, rate your guys' setup. Thank you for uh, subscribing. I'm joined here by my Twitch chat over on twitch.tv slash JacobsonYT. I've made it a goal to try and stream as many days in 2024 as I possibly can. So far, I'm doing pretty good. It is the 18th of January, and I've only technically missed three days. We have set up one of one right here. Honestly, I'm really not able to comprehend what I'm looking at. We got three keyboards, four keyboards. I don't know what bro is doing. He might be on some lists of some sort. It looks like he's either hacking or maybe he's a repair guy. You know what? We're going to do the funny mic today. We're, we're using this mic, arguably because it's a, it's a terrible mic, and it just adds to the vibe of these terrible setups. And then plus I can go like this. What the flip? Or what did I? Or, no, it was just this. If you were here yesterday, you know, I'm sorry if you don't. Today, my Twitch chat is gonna be helping us determine what these people do for a living based on the setup that they have. So we've determined that we think this person's a hacker, right? Or maybe a government official. We got a, uh, somebody likes to turn left, huh? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I gotta do a gritty right now. We got a lot of love for Jimmy. Thank you for the raid. I hope you've been doing awesome, dude. Really appreciate you, brother. And this graceful gritty is for you, my friend. I feel like this is a blue collar, like maybe an electrician or something who's got a real big, he's got a big NASCAR obsession, right? Like comes home from work, kicks his boots off and goes and pets his little NASCAR cars, which no, no hate for that. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. eBay seller. Oh, that's a good one. It could be an eBay seller. Driver's ed instructor. I don't know about that one. All right, next up, let's rate these one out of 10. For the first one, this is a two out of 10 because it scares me. For this one, it's a three out of 10 because I appreciate the, you know, I appreciate that he enjoys NASCAR, but I don't really, the yellow mustard wall really thrown it off for me. Next up, uh, this Keep one. Keep crying, you know that I am the better Discord mod. You Jake, guys are actually arguing by sending money to me. That's kind of crazy. Keep arguing at that point, I guess, huh? How many bodies are in their basement? This one, probably three. Dude, the fact that there's a briefcase on its side right here, what is in bro's briefcase? He's kind of got some drip going on right here, right? I don't know if this is real gold or not, but pretty, you know, got the ring on. This guy might be a time travel. What has he got to open on the computer? What the heck is that? This is a uh, two out of 10. What even is, this is one out of 10. What are we looking at? We're just looking at Wii Sports? I can't even see anything. No way you guys think it's 10 out of 10. No way, you guys are lying. You guys are absolutely lying. This is 2000 kids vibes, dude, 100%. That is not an OLED screen. There's no way. Okay. You know what, Amelia? I say we set aside our differences and be better Discord mod. Are you guys following the lore of this argument going on between people right now? Because I'm not following it at all. I don't know what's going on. Good idea, Mexi. Love you, man, platonically. <laughs> okay, guys. We're glad you settled your beef, everybody. W's in chat, they settled their beef, and they're going to stop talking about it. This is a 10 out of 10 specifically because it's minimal. It ain't flashy. It gets the job done. And you know what? I plot my buns in that. You know what I mean? All right. Heck yeah, dude. You certainly have a PC. I like that this seems simple. You know, four out of 10. That's our highest rating yet, four out of 10. It reminds me of if I was like 12 and I got my first PC, this is what it would have looked like in my room, 100%. Or even like 16 and I got my first PC. Next up, okay, got the RGB going on. We got, what are these little action figures in here? Can you guys tell what those are? It looks like the mushroom guy from Mario. That's my final guess. Splatoon, Splatoon, Splatoon. I don't know what Splatoon is. I'll give this another four out of 10, just because it's not really a setup. It's more of just a PC review. Okay, next up. It's the picture itself is as low quality as the actual setup. It's so small. What does this person do for a living? Back rooms operator. Yeah, dude. This color of blue stresses me out more than any other color in the world. I hate this color of blue. Okay, next up. What am I looking at? Was that a laptop? I don't know what I'm looking at, dude. It looks like it was a laptop once upon a time. Oh my gosh. Safe testing, enough. testing, 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 testing. I think it works. I think the test works. The test is good. The test is good. Thank you. This guy works like a normal job. It feels like, you know, does a little gaming on the side, right? Nothing too crazy. I'd say they work at Safeway in produce. What do you guys think they do for a living? Normal Fall Guys player, Walmart, Subway. 
Kroger. Doctor. <laughs> Lemonade stand. <laughs> I'm going to rate this one uh, 2 out of 10, dude. I, I, there's just, like, such little context. Next up. Have any of these been real at all? This one's a 1 out of 10, bro. I just, I can't handle these Google image. Like, I, are any, is anybody actually sending their real setups in? Or are these all just, like, Google image search? There's not even, there's not even an iPad. It's just the keyboard. Did he have to use his iPad to take the picture of it? Is that what's going on? Dude, I'm not even gonna guess what this person does. There's such little to be determined from this. He's got a nice keyboard for his iPad. He just needs the iPad, I guess. All right, next up. Uh, what are we, what are we doing exactly? Uh, this setup is, uh, looks like negative five degrees. So we'll go five out of 10. Oh, actually six out of 10. They have the Otter Pops. Are they off brand? Favorite day? Polar freezes? You got off-brand Otter Pops. Otter Pops are the cheapest thing in the world, and you got off-brand Otter Pops. What are you doing? Negative five out of ten. I changed my score. I can't believe you. Oh, I actually feel sick right now. Can you believe that, Skelly? Oh, what do we think they do for a living? My guess is if it's off-brand Otter Pops, they're a customer support call center person. You know what I'm talking about, where you call them? And they're like, hello, thanks for reaching the customer support line. How can I help you? And you're like, yeah, uh, my dog is stuck in my freezer. I don't know how to get him out. I just bought this freezer. I don't know why it's broken. Did you try turning it off and back on again? Everything you say is the worst thing they've ever heard in their life. That's who this is. Next up. These aren't, these, these aren't even setups. I'm gonna, okay, Jake, chill out. We're having fun here. This is fun. This is a two out of 10. And, I, and this person for a living, oh, what is that trackpad? I'm gonna, oh. I'm actually getting really upset right now. What the heck? How do, how do I? How do I? Oh. How do you use this? Do you have to use this thing to get your cursor around the screen? Yes. You have to use that? Negative two out of 10. This is terrible. Is that a ham radio? They got a little trophy. Good for them. Is that a, what is that trophy for? It looks like that one thing where it's like the, you know what I'm talking about? This is for sure a prepper, dude. This is a prepper. They got an antenna. What are they? Is that the CIA? Bro, they're hacking in the mainframe. Look at that. That's the CIA logo. Do you guys see that? Holy smokes. FBI logo, I mean. Sorry, FBI. FBI. Would you throw Skelly for 100 bits? Absolutely not. 1,000 bits, maybe. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't spend your money on me. Logan. Logan. Do it, you, you won't. Capitalism, baby. Uh... What are these bed sheets? What was the green piece on him? I've had to tape him back together because I've been throwing him around a little bit too much. He's not doing so great, honestly. I think I broke his pelvic floor. He's a runner, he's a track star. Sorry. Body slam him? I will not body slam him, dude. Sorry, Skelly. We got a Game Boy. The bed sheets are freaking me out. Negative three out of 10. I don't know, I don't know why I'm just defaulting to the negatives right now, but that's just kind of how it's going. Rate this setup. Oh gosh, dude, we got a lot to unpack here. We got the off-brand. Oh, are these the ones that those that those stupid YouTubers always plug? What are these called, dude? I always see ads for them and I hate hate those ads. Raycon, dude. Raycon, sorry. Okay, look like homie has a little bit of beef with the letter O. I don't know what that mouse is, dude. What is in this basket? We got a lot to unpack here, dude. Oh, you're a trinket collector. We got a trinket collector, bro. This is somebody who gets birthday cards and never throws them away. I guarantee this person has a box somewhere with every single birthday card that they've ever gotten. You know what I do? I get a birthday card, I keep it on my counter for like a week, and then I throw it away. What am I gonna do with that? The mouse is on the left. You're right. Two out of 10, only because they're playing Minecraft. Is it this? Is this the same guy? It's the same angle. Is this not the same guy? What is bro doing? 5,000 bits to eat Mr. Skelly Bones. I will try my best to take a small bite out of Skelly for 5,000 bits. I will. I would 100% do that. Are these a million phones? Look at all these phones. This is definitely a tech repair person. And uh, we're, we're giving it a 4 out of 10. Okay, let's move on. Guh? Is this how you guys would read this guh? Guh? That's how I would read that. I actually don't know what the guh cat is. But, uh, dude, this is... One out of 10. Okay, now we're talking. Oh my gosh. Guh? 
Sorry. Bro, look at the subwoofer down here, bro. This is going to be our highest rating so far. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I have a couple critiques. Number one, when the bass plays, remove the B from bass, and that's what's going to be shaken in your chair, okay? So the sub placement is crazy, dude. The lamp against the wall, I understand it, although arguably it'd be better just to get some more, like, uh, get a light that's meant to be an accent light instead of... You know, I'd say this person, I don't think they do music for a living. I think they DJ weddings. Looking at these stands, I would say that this person is a wedding DJ. That's what I'm going to guess. That or a music producer. I don't know if they do it for a living because acoustically, this is not the right way to set this room up. But maybe they produce and they don't master. But either way, it's a W setup. 7 out of 10. Okay. Is that a vape? Is that a vape? They got the Logitech G502 mouse, which if you know, you know. Let me put you guys on game. This right here. Best mouse there is. What are these called? The Viper? Are these Vipers? Not enough mouse space. You're right. But it looks like they don't actually game on this. It looks like they, they're a controller player. Pit Viper. That's what they're called. Right. Pit Vipers. And then they got that like, uh, you know, the Iron Man. Not the Iron Man. The uh, Newton. What do you call this thing that goes like that? Did they forget how to count? Plasma globe. That sounds better. Guys, am I understanding this correctly? Do they have a number chart on the wall to remember how to count? Did I rate this yet? I don't know if I rated it yet. We'll do five out of 10. I hate these little desk organizers because they stress me out. Just get a drawer. Other than that, I don't know what game or screensaver that is. Maybe Roblox. Looks like they got a little drawing pad maybe. Xbox controller, two monitors, mic, little desk lamp. I'll give this a five out of 10. Solid, it's a solid, solid setup. Gets the job done, five out of 10. I need you guys to rate this right now. As somebody with IBS, a bathroom gaming setup is one thing, dude. A double toilet bathroom? In what context does this exist? Is this like a married couple with IBS? Oh, no, dude. Separate bathroom. What are we doing? This is not my setup. Whoever just said that, this is not my setup. In fact, mods, can you ban whoever that was? Two out of 10, because there's two toilets and they're doing the number two while gaming. Honestly, it's so cursed. And I just, it, and, and, the, and the, the, the piping being above ground is stressing me out as well. Next up. Okay. Hey, they got Opera GX open and they've got the Jakertown Discord open. Let's go. Bro, this looks like one of those like mahogany desks. Is this a mahogany desk? And bro, look at this. They got four sticks of RAM, a fatty of a GPU. Guys, I don't think this is a, di a dining table. I think this is like a thick old mahogany desk like a lawyer would have, you know? But it's like the lawyer does a little gaming on the weekends. It's his first custom build. I'm gonna have to do seven out of 10 because I respect the fact that it's like in the living room, mahogany desk lawyer vibes. That's like the progression of a lawyer, you know? Or degeneration at least. Is that a tooth? What is that? Is that ketchup? And what the heck are those? If that's mac and cheese, this might be a 10 out of 10. What is this? The Duolingo mask is wild. Please do not purchase that. That's a huge waste of money. This is a three out of 10. Okay, we got the little Wii Fit set up. When I did the Wii Fit and it told me I was obese, I immediately threw the window, bro. I checked that thing through the window. I yeeted it. I just saw the wallpaper and the grandfather clock. This might be someone's grandma, dude. Three out of 10, W grandma in chat. Okay, now we're talking. It's like we got a 20 series card of some sort some t-force ram nice heck yeah dude i'm gonna do five out of ten on this one i like this one this is nice who is actually using this kind of mouse how do you even bro i i button mash i have two i have two buttons right here oh that looks really gross uh <clears throat> i'm not in a place to judge anybody else's mouse right now actually is that me sneezing i'm gonna have to rate this one seven out of ten because they have a 3d printer so they're high iq and they're watching the meme daddy and they have a, a poster of bowser on the wall which is sick floor needs a, needs a little bit of a i don't know if you've ever heard of a vacuum i don't know if you've ever heard of a vacuum maybe try that but other than that seven out of ten solid okay you know what you're doing a lot with a little in this situation, which I like. Because the closer I look, the less I actually see, but from like, you know, from 30 feet away, I think you've maximized the potential with what you've done here. And the cable management's not atrocious. It's not good either. So we're doing another five out of 10. Okay, another 3D printer. Is this the same guy? I don't know who's on the wall right here. Venom? Okay. It looks like they're streaming something. They got a webcam open. Wait, that's a Jakertown Discord server. I, is this like, is this current? Six days ago. I thought that was current. You know what? This works, dude. This works. Six out of 10. This works for me. This guy again.
this guy again, dude. We had this one in the last review setup, and this one just really stresses me out a lot. What the heck? What is bro doing? That's crazy. It has like lights in it and everything, dude. All right, we got another NASCAR fan. Is this a mini fridge? I think this setup is on top of a mini fridge, which I don't know if that's a massive W or a fat L. All right, if you're watching this on the YouTube after the fact, these are people sending in their real setups now. No more Google image searched PCs. These are actual PC setups from the viewers. They got the stream open. That's awesome, sorry. I appreciate that. We got a camo gaming chair? Do you sit on that? What the heck is that, bro? What are you doing though, bro? What is that? Where's the armrest? This is solid setup though. I mean, this like this has everything you need. Oh, it's a flight stick. That's what you guys are calling them. Okay, cool. Right on. This has got like a reclining thing on it. That'd be kind of nice, honestly. I wouldn't mind that. What is this book? I can't tell what the book is. This is getting a six out of 10. Nice. We got the three monitor set up. Interesting choice with, see, I like my vertical screen on the right side where the mouse is because I feel like it stays the most out of the way. Like I feel like my right hand would be kind of going towards my monitor in this situation. So that's a little questionable, but you know what? This ain't bad. Looks like a nice sturdy desk. Could hit the gritty on that for sure. My desk might be strong enough for me to hit the gritty on. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll give it a shot. Yep. It was a light gritty, but it was a gritty. Do a uh, six out of 10, cause it gets the job done. Not everything needs to be the whole, you know, what is the saying? The whole, the whole yesta? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm making up new sayings right now. Okay, I see what you're doing here. You turn the lights off to, to let the RGB lighting take over so that we wouldn't look at the cable management. But guess what, buddy? These puppies right here, 2020. Actually not, they're not. I, I have terrible eyesight. Not terrible, but not great eyesight. But still, I can see your cables, brother. And it's a rat nest down there. You're gonna have some wolf spiders down there. Absolutely. It's, a, it's game over. But you know what? Five out of 10, five out of 10. Cause it's a vibe. As long as you don't swing your, kick your legs. Cause I'm a short king. So when I'm sitting in an actual size chair, I just let my feet kick like this. Let me prove it. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have showed you guys this. I've made a big mistake. Next up. And he's got the stream open. That's what we like to see. Who is it? What's your name? What's your name? It's Warrior. We got a bit of an Altoids addiction. What's going on here? Also, are you using light mode? I'll give this a six out of 10. I don't know what these, what's H-E-B? What is H-E-B? Oh, it's posted on behalf of one of the members. Altoids would have made it seven out of 10, but there's it's too many Altoids. Next up, okay. We got the last airbender and we got a used game over here called something combat, probably a uh, portal combat or whatever that one game is called. This is a five out of 10. Okay, this is an interesting approach. Interesting use of space. I gotta give this a three out of 10, brother. I'm sorry. Okay. Got the NZXT uh, AIO. Got a vertically mounted, uh, looks like maybe a 3070. I can see the reflection of Roadcaster in there. Looks fun, dude. Six out of 10. All right, literally not even a gaming setup. This is literally just your Lego collection. This looks like a gaming attic. Like somebody has like a that one room in the house where it's over the garage and it's kind of like a weird shape and they turn it into like the gaming room. This is nice. This is a solid five out of 10. All right. The w Okay, wait, dude, this is wild. I love that you went through the work of hiding the cables but then not painting the wall, but that's, you know, you're getting around to it, I'm sure. But two, two mounted like right next to each other like that is kind of wild. Unless, is this because, oh, wait a minute. We got a PS5 and an Xbox One. There's like two brothers hanging out playing. This is a seven, this is an eight out of 10. Highest rated one out of, out of the whole day. Eight out of 10, because two brothers are coming together. The screen peaking is gonna be insane. We love to see family hanging out, having fun. Next up, what? You got a projector in your room? Bro, I hate projectors. This is a four out of 10, cause I hate projectors, I'm sorry. But it looks like a vibe, you do you, have fun. Next up, okay. Got a little under the bunk bed. The fact that you have a Prime bottle as part of your setup, how do we feel about this? I personally think the hype around Prime, I enjoy the drink. Okay, but the Prime, it's like, per, you're just promoting for free. I'm gonna give this setup five out of 10, six out of 10, because it's a vibe, you know what? You maximize the space in your room, which I like. The Prime bottle's throwing it off for me a little bit. I like the controller stand. It's a W setup, brother. Um, okay, I don't know if you guys understand the definition of set up. It means that it's set up, it's set up. The point of a setup is that you set the whole thing up. This isn't even set up all the way. 
So I can't even read it. Okay. Is that a Skelly Skelly's arm down here? What is that? Oh no, that's just a that's just a cable. I don't know if you're eating your desk or your mouse pad. I don't know what you did here. It looks like you got a little bored. It started eating your mouse pad. Five out of ten. Nice. It's like so clean and so chaotic at the same time. Brother, you sneeze and something's getting ripped out of that PC right now. But the floor is like oddly clean. Like with how insane the cables are, the floor is so clean. And I don't know if I trust you, but you got the stream open, so I'm gonna gift you a sub. Is that Garrett? Garrett! <laughs> Bro! This dude is six feet tall. It makes so much sense. He has risers for everything. He's got to get his PC off the ground because he's six foot eight. And it makes sense how clean his room is. It really does. But Garrett, what are we doing with these cables, dude? No time to cable manage. Okay, I got to take a picture of my cables. My desk is not in its final position. So I, I cannot finalize. Because with Garrett, his desk is in the final position. Okay? Mine is not. But even still, brother. The cables that I can't manage yet are these ones that are like running over to the wall because this TV right now is not in its final position, but I'm going to get all these ran behind the wall. But if you consider how much we got going on here, dude, and Garrett still has more visible cables than me. Garrett, I will gift you 50 subs in your next Twitch chat. You have to text me when you're live though, okay? I will gift you 50 subs if you send me a picture by the end of the day. And I don't want to hear that there's no time for it because now it's a paid thing, basically. If you send me a picture tonight of these cables at least somewhat better managed, your next live stream, I will gift you 50 subs. Next up. What are you, uh, what are you hiding from us, brother? Dude, is that real brick? That's real brick. Where are you? What dungeon? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that vape juice? It's a dual PC setup. I had to black out the screens because mod stuff and had other account windows open. Space? Space, if you're vaping, I gotta crush Skelly's head in right now. You know I vape. Skelly, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this to you. I have no other choice. Okay? This is what vaping does to the world. Oh no, he bro I broke his neck. I broke his neck. His neck is broken. Good? Dude, I love the basement vibes. I love, is that real brick though? Because if it is, I think that's so cool. They don't build with brick in the Pacific Northwest very much. So I never saw it a lot growing up. It looks dope. It's not brick brick, it's cinder blocks, but yes, gotcha. I think that's a vibe, dude, that's dope. I like it, W setup, okay. Wow, every, we've got the Nintendo 64, Xbox 360, Wii, the Wii scale, PS1. Is that the, what is this one in the middle here? I don't know what that one is. What is that one called? Atari, Atari, right? Isn't that an Atari? The Sega? Nice, dude, this is a seven out of 10. What on earth? Oh gosh, dude, okay. This looks like a game in and of itself to get to your gaming setup. That's kind of wild. I don't think that the cross boards on a bunk bed are meant for this. Two out of 10, two out of 10. Okay, dude. Lick, look, dude, lick. <laughs> I wanna lick this setup, sorry. This is nice though. Cable management, a little crazy back there, but you can tell this is somebody's bedroom, right? So we got like a, you know, we're working with the tighter space and the vibes are there, man. We got the little rubber ducky accent on the side. We like that. I like this a lot. Six out of 10, but a solid six out of 10. That's Dr. Puffin set up. I like it, Dr. Puffin. Oh! Got the stream open. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let me know. Agent Solo. Solo, this is quite the setup, brother. You got the lava lamp. You got the AirPods. So you're telling me when we were playing Mount Everest on Roblox or whatever, this is where it was going down, huh? I paid for everything myself besides the AirPods. I need, uh, I need everybody to spam W Solo right now in the chat. This ain't daddy's money, all right? Solo, what's with the paddle? What are we, what, 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 what are we, what are we, what are we doing here? Also, take your dishes down to the kitchen right now, Solo. It's a spatula for pancakes and eggs. Why is it in your room? You know what? That's all right. Uh, six out of 10. Another six out of 10. No look-sees. Alrighty, take your word for it. We got the Among Us neon light, kind of a vibe. We got Bob Ross on the wall. I like the USA map. It's an interesting map, uh, like with how the borders are. It looks like you're doing a lot with a little. And that, I like that. Five out of 10. All right, we got another brick wall. Oh, we got some V-Bucks. Oh, we got a lot to look. Okay, we got another Prime Worshipper in here. Another Prime Worshipper. That's okay. We've got, uh, you know, you got, you're keeping, you're keeping family. Listen, you're cranking 90s and you're keeping your family in the back of your mind so that you remember what you're doing it for. I like that. PlayStation 4 controller looks like. The V-Bucks card is just kind of hilarious, honestly. And then it looks like you got a bunch of little trinkets and doodads. I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm not sure if you're building something, but I just love, I need, I need a lot of bricks in my life. I need a hundred bricks delivered to me right now. 
just to build a fake brick. I'm building a fake brick wall. I'm tearing this down. I'm doing a brick wall. Four out of ten. Yes, I play on a TV instead of a monitor. Fight me. No, this isn't bad though, dude. Because it looks like you're a controller player. And I feel like controller on TV is a vibe. And so I, I like it. Four out of ten. I like this. I like this setup a lot. And they got the stream open. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Sushi! My boy! Bro, bro. I didn't know that you were kind of rolling in it there brother you got the oculus dude you got a setup and a half right here bro and this is a massive room is this your bedroom this is crazy dude sushi i love your setup this is a that's a seven out of ten for me bro that's sick lobster sticker on the pc where look at that this is a vibe dude we got the wonton tree or no Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I just said that. I'm actually canceled. I'm actually canceled. What is that called? Oh my gosh, I'm canceled. Bonsai tree. <laughs> oh no. This is a great setup though. For my setup, I need to get like a five foot bonsai tree, which if you guys don't know, bonsai trees are extremely, extremely expensive because it takes forever to get them, to get them like, it's fake. You're canceled. Everybody say, say Nitro's canceled. Everybody start spamming that and stop saying that I'm canceled. This is a 5 out of 10. 6 out of 10 for me. 6 out of 10. Okay, we're through all of the new submissions, so I'm going to refresh it again now. But I will only be gifting subs to people who have the stream open that have a setup that is 8 out of 10. Okay? How many bodies are in this basement, dude? This is a 2 out of 10 for me. This Dude, the Santa doll- Actually, wait! That's a collectible! That's a collectible Santa! Somebody ask me how I know. Thank you, Hockey Legend 42 I know because back in the day, my brother and I, we were like doing little side hustles to try to make some extra money because we were struggling, all right? So we bought a storage unit at auction like they do on TV, okay? And bro, the things that I got out of that auction unit was crazy, bro. We made so much money on that. We bought it for like a thousand bucks and I think we made like four, four grand on it. This Santa is part of a set and it is this lady who makes them I'm pretty sure, but she only makes a certain amount. I just love when I know stupid facts like that. Uh, five out of 10, five out of 10. What do we got going on here? It looks like we added this wall recently. This is what my wall is about to look like. Okay. Okay, this is Jose. You got the Oculus. Nice. You got me on the monitor. Nice. What do we got up here? We got a uh, Sin City. And then is that a PC for... Is that the box that your PC came in? Did you get a new PC? You're trying to build one. Right on, dude. Uh, Jose, I'm giving this a solid five out of 10. Next up. Dang! Whoa! Got the Led Zeppelin poster. What are those guitars called that are the double wide? Is that one of those double guitars? A double neck, that's what it's called. A double neck, nice. Either you're 30 or your dad really instilled an appreciation for like 80s. Which one is it? I'm 17 and all this is my doing. I obtained this all myself. How, where did your, where did your interest in this stuff come, come into play? I think it's rad, dude. It's super cool. Dude, I like the chair. I like the chair. This is an 8 out of 10 for me, guys. This is an 8 out of 10. There's so much character here. He's got the UV light, bro. Okay, this is Warrior's personal setup. I like it. This is clean, effective, cozy. This is a 6 out of 10 for me, dude. Listen, there's nothing better than getting home. You got your little corner set up. You go to your little corner. You log in. You're typing in the chat. You're hanging out. You're having fun. You're enjoying your life. And it's a vibe. I like it. Oh no, Garrett. You did it with scotch tape. Can you post a picture from the same angle on the Discord so that I can look at it? And we'll, and we'll ask people if it's worth 50 gifted subs. Uh, you're gonna... Garrett, I'm very sorry. I didn't know that all you had was scotch tape. You're really gonna regret that later on. But, okay. Warrior, this is a... I don't know if I said it already. I said 6 out of 10. 6 or 7 out of 10. I can't decide. I don't think this is how this works at all. 4 out of 10. Is that some, like, custom paint on the wall? Or did you, like, rip... What's going on in the... Oh, it's like a map. You got a map on the wall. The fact that there's not a monitor directly in front of you is stressing me out. I'll give it 4 out of 10. I like the map. All right. This is really stressful. 4 out of 10. What on earth is bro doing? Bro, how many Hot Wheels do you have? And what are you wearing on your head? Homie's got Ferrari slippers. Dude, this is wild. I mean, you got the stream open, so that's a W. This is 5 out of 10. Okay. I like this, dude. I like this. The the vertical, like, tilt, I kind of... I normally like when the monitors touch, but I kind of like this. The control freak sign 
Mm, don't know about that. I'm going to do 6 out of 10 on this one, though. This is Garrett's cable management, dude. Bro, I'm so sorry that I made you do this with, with scotch tape. I'm actually so sorry. Also, it's... uh, Let me show you. Do you guys know how cables always want to just do this? They always want to like go like this. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? One's in chat if you want me to show you how to do it. It's really not that hard, but I, I promise you the first couple times you do it, it's going to be really weird. And guys, I do this with every single cable, okay? I don't know if this is common knowledge because I learned it from... I used to do like a lot of live w with XLR cables, like run into microphones and stuff like that. And so it's really important that on a stage that the cables lay flat, okay? So if you notice, wires have a memory. Say it with me. Wires have memory. When wires at birth, okay, come out of the factory, they just coil these little bad boys up, okay? And so then when you unravel it, they remember! They have trauma from the way these companies wrap them up. So what do you do when you have trauma? Go back through. You sort it out. You find a spot where it's like really, really, uh, you know, tangled up like this. You start from that part and you start to twist, okay? Find out what makes it unravel, okay? And here's the thing. That memory has got to escape out of one of the sides. You follow that all the way out to the end until it comes all the way out. Once you get that memory retrained, okay, just lay this puppy out and you'll see it. And what you can do also is like if you find a spot, you can step on it and kind of twist it around. You And you'll feel the tension in the cord. Now, do be careful with this. If they get really tense, you can kind of mess it up on the inside. But you just want to really find that. I'm not stepping on it hard, guys. I'm not like stomping on it. I'm just stepping on it to stabilize it. Give or take, that's pretty good. Okay, she's laying flat, right? You seeing that? You guys have to follow this instruction very closely is kind of difficult but once it's like muscle memory once you learn how to do it you will rewrap wires for the rest of your life the same and if you wrap wires this way when you unwrap them in the future they will lay out flat so what you got to do take the end of the end of the cable point it to yourself the way that i remember this who is wrapping this cable me put it in your hand like this open your hand palm up okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it up and around like this okay that's simple enough, right? That's simple enough. You're just bringing it around like that. Make a big old circle, okay? What you typically would have done is just do it again, right? Wrong. Once like this, okay? Just once like this, nice and easy. Now, your secondary hand is super important because your fingers are gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of salt bay, okay? You're doing a little bit of salt bay. What you do, see how my hand is going under? It's just how it is. That's how you normally do it, right? For the, for the normal wrap. You want to take this hand, it goes under normally. This time around, you want your palm to come up. Do you see that? And, and you alternate it. Palm up, palm down. Palm up, palm down. So the first one, palm goes down. Palm goes up. Palm goes down. Palm goes up. It's called a roadie wrap and that's the recommended way to wrap cables and hoses in general. Normally this cable would not have liked being wrapped, right? Look at this. Nice and flat. Class is dismissed. We're going to look back at Garrett's setup. He really did a number with the scotch tape and I feel so bad that he used scotch tape. This is what it looks like from up top now. Those cables do be looking managed. Those cables do be looking managed. One's in chat if he deserves 50 subs. Two's if he doesn't. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Uh, check out this video and uh, new setup video will be coming soon.